My name's Serena Laverne, and I work primarily as an oil painter. Sometimes I'll start with acrylic paint, um, and sometimes I make drawings in ink, but most of the time I work with oil. That's mostly because I like the way it feels. Um, I like the thickness of the paint. Um, I just like the relationship to the paint. The pigments come from the earth. That's how I think about the colors. Um, and I like the vibrancy of oil paint. The horse for me is sort of the ultimate symbol of the United States. It's the ultimate symbol of the American West. It was used for transportation, um, but also as well as cultural. So, and it has to deal with the imagery that we see. Again, cowboys on horses, the lone rider going off into the sunset. But the horse, what I love about it so much is that cultural connection, that it would bridge the gap between different cultures. The skeleton is kind of the same thing. It is the thing that we all have. So you can't look at a painting of a skeleton and say, oh, that's a female person, that's a male person, that's a wealthy person. You know, to be fully living, to be fully here, and to be fully present, we have to embrace the fact that we're not going to be here forever. So the paintings for me are not in any way morbid. They're like a reminder, and then sometimes they're a celebration of the fact that there are people who came before us, there are people who will be here after us, and our time here is short. I've mostly been painting skeletons for years. I haven't really been painting anybody with any skin or flesh. Um, that's playing on the idea of a historical painting known as Death and the Maiden. Um, it's an image that reoccurs throughout heart history. Um, usually you see um, a woman somehow surrounded by a skeleton. Um, it's an image that I've always found very powerful, but I think lately with a combination of things, um, political things, environmental things, COVID, um, again, also being a mother and feeling that in being pregnant um, and having a child, you think more actively about death than I think a lot of people want to admit. Um, and so it's sort of my take on that historic image of the death and the maiden, um, but it also, again, feels very connected to me personally. I realize that Painting, in terms of finding content, had a lot to do with exploring my own identity. I am from the Beaumont area. I'm from Southeast Texas, um, which is very much a land of refineries, oil, and swamps. It is not <clears throat> the West Texas of people's dreams. You know, it's not horses, it's not big ranches. But that's the idea that was imposed on me since I was a child. People's ideas of things that I am, whether that is being part Japanese, part Mexican, or born and raised in the state of Texas, people always had ideas based on stereotypes about who I was. And it took me a long time to realize that my art is about combining all of those things and saying, I am all those things. I'm proud of all those things. That is where I'm from. That is my experience. These are my myths as well. These are my stories. This is my imagery. And I am American and I get to claim all of this. And it doesn't matter if I'm not John Wayne on a horse, because that is the mythology that I grew up with. And now I get to take that, have a conversation with it, and make it mine, and make it feel like it can be bigger than that.